Right. Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in and week out. Prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom of America. And also to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. First off, we'd like to give all praises to the Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Greetings and salutations to all you out there pushing out this truth in sincerity, man. Keep it up. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch. Right, and that's what we're doing right now. We're standing upon our watch. Just like going back to the ancient days, the watchmen stood upon the watchtowers. Read. And set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he slug it. And that table is this is this word, man. So we wrote that word down and made it plain. Why? So in these last days we can have it. You come out here and prophesy. And tell you scatterbrains what's going on and what's coming on this place, man. All the hell and destruction that's coming on this place. Right. That he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right, and, and a lot of the brothers, you know, we're getting a little antsy, man, because it's speaking. Those prophecies speaking right now. You can't turn on the news or go on a... a, 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 a website without seeing something new popping off here, you know, all across the world, man. These prophecies popping off left and right. Because why the scriptures say at the end it shall speak. And it say, though it tarry. I don't want to do it. Fuck that God. You see? Don't try me with one second with your life. They want it and yeah, but I don't want it. Put on it. He feel the spirit as I he feel the spirit on um, the angels. Yeah. That's all it is. Look, see, calm down. all over for him real soon though man I mean, he, he won't be bugging out like that too much longer but yeah like I was saying man it's he said in, in the end read that again I'll right, start from the top uh, this Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time right that vision is, is yet for an appointed time man the vision that he gave Habakkuk to write down on those plain tables but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. And it's speaking right now and it's not lying. And how's it speaking? Throughout the four corners of the earth. You got his men out prophesying, man. Bringing the scripture straight out of the Bible. And proving it to you people. Like the scripture tell us to do. Prove all things. Go with Terry. Wait for it. Right. Though it look like it's taking a long time. And it ain't happening fast enough. Wait for it. Because though it may seem that it's tarrying to you, it's really not. Because the news ain't going to report everything that's going on, man. We ain't seeing half of the stuff that's really going on in the world, man. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right. It will, it will surely come, man. Just as it was written in these scriptures, man. Because all these scriptures, all the prophecies in this Bible, man. If they haven't come to pass, they will come to pass. Say up the Lord. This is 2 Peter 3 and 9. Uh, I, start at, I start at 8. 2 Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. A thousand years as one day. Right, and that's, and that's the timing of the Most High. And that's why he say, be not ignorant of that. And that's t that ties in with Habakkuk. Throw it, Terry, wait for it. Because you got to understand the timing of the Most High. Right. Verse 9. The Lord is not slack. 
concerning his promise. Right. right. Meaning whatever he wrote in these scriptures, he promised. He's he, he making a promise that it's going to come to pass. Right. I'm about to say something. Man. The Lord said that he's not a man that he should lie. Uh -huh. Like I always say, the Lord ain't no nigga, man. Whatever the Lord put in these scriptures, it's going to come to pass. And that's why we coming out here to tell you dumbasses, man. You better get back. You better get back to your heritage. And get back to keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Or the most high gonna smoke your ass, man. That's some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to us word. Right. Yeah. He, the Lord is long suffering to us word, man. And what's proof of that? We've been in captivity all but 40 years, going back to when Solomon ruled, man. But outside of that, the nation of Israel been in captivity, man. So that's that long suffering that's talking about, man. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. Well, we know through the scriptures and through seeing you, you fucking retards walk up and down this street, you're not going to come back to repentance, man. All right. Two thirds of you gonna get melted away, man. Gonna get melted to the ground. Like when that, you know, when that mouse eat that poison, and you find them like a week, you smell the smell, and you find them a week later, and the skin is just melted to the carpet. That's how you people gonna be, man. Why? Cause you don't want to repent, man. You don't want to come back to your, the law, statutes, and the commandments. And we and we see it plain, man. Cause like the scripture said, in the end it shall speak, and it's speaking clearly. Matthew this is Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time right this is Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation tribulation means trouble that should be great tribulation what's how great reason? Such as was not since the beginning of the world. Since that was not since the beginning of the world. Did not the Lord flood the earth out in the days of Noah? Did not the Lord rain down fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah? Right. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Right, because the destruction that's coming, man, it's going to be all the destruction you can think about wrapped in one times a million, man. That's right. And after that, you're not going to see that type of destruction no more, man, because we're coming to the end of this thing. And at the end of this thing, it's like, a, it's like a motion picture, man. The main characters, the main rulers of this earth are going to be set back in their righteous order, man. That's right. Right. So ain't gonna be no need to destroy this place. When the righteous are in rule, man, you ain't gonna need, you ain't gonna have no need for mass wars. And holes in the ozone layer that this so-called white man got, man, in his kingdom, man. Look at look at all the uh, the, the rap sheet of the, uh, the so-called white man, fucking Edomites, man. All you did was destroy. Got it. This is Proverbs. Buddy, bro. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right, the right are, are the people rejoicing? No. People walk around here how drugs and going shopping, buying shit. Why? To pamper they, they, they psychology, man, to pamper their mind. Cause they catching hell out here. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Right. So, who's in rule right now? The so-called righteous, which the Bible speaks of, are the, the elect of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the nation of Israel. We are not ruling right now. People are mourning because the wicked are in rule. And who is the wicked? It's the book of Job. 
chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. Who has the possession of the earth right now? The wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right. And who are the judges? The main two judges are Yahweh, which is the heavenly father, his son, Yahweh Shah. And how did they cover the faces? Huh. How they covered the faces of the judges there. Really? If not, where and who is he? Right, that's rhetoric. If not the white man didn't do that, if not the, the white man is the wicked that has the rules, rulership of the earth, where, where is the, the, the person that's ruling the earth? Where is he? And who is he? And that's 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 directly towards you stupid ass niggas, man, that's scared of your oppressor that because so many times brothers are asked niggas that question. Like who's ruling the earth? They, you, you'd be scared to say it's the white man. Yeah, they'll be they'll be quick to say, oh, that's that's your own interpretation. What the fuck? Who makes all the laws, the rules? Who, who passes all these legislations, man? So-called white man. Who you gotta go to for your clothes, for food, for everything, everything that you consume or buy, who you gotta go to to get it, man? You ain't going to the Asians or the, uh, or the Puerto Ricans. No, you're going to the white man. If you are going to Asians, guess where the Asians got it from? So-called white man. This is Matthew chapter 21. Ver this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be sh be saved. Right. So the Lord telling us that unless the days that's coming should be shortened, none of us should be saved, man. But yeah, you people walk around like chickens with your hands cut off, man. No, no, no sense of what's about to happen here, man. Why? Because the so-called white man, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the Edomites, they're going to come to hell. They're going to hell. Hurry on, you people, man. And that's what we come out here to warn you about. And that's going to be a part of that big trouble, man. That, that, that great tribulation that's coming. 